Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily chat. This is episode number 896. Yes, four more until I get to the 900. That's our one other milestone. And the topic today is about how to complete 2019 with real love so that your 2020 will rock. I'm going to explain about that and give you some tips and guidance and some invitations, since it is the holiday season, um, that might benefit you. So before I do all that and give you all the downloads, let me introduce myself first and then we'll get started. My name is Barry Selby. Ta-da! Surprise, surprise, in case you haven't seen my broadcast before or didn't see my name around this video. I am an inspirational speaker, a spiritual guide, love and relationships expert, and the author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, men and women. Um, probably not going to be my only book, the way things are going. Things are shifting. Anyway, another topic, another time. I am also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which is why I help women create balance in love, life, and business, and what informs my work, but also is what started these talks almost, almost three years ago, called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring and Feminine Heart. So today we're episode number 896, and I will tell you where you can find the replays if you want to catch the past ones, and how to find them more easily at the end of the broadcast, um, together with the invitations I'm going to mention as well. But I want to speak today about how to complete 2019, and yes, to be honest, I'm um, paraphrasing what a lot of marketing people are doing right now. It's like, finish 2019 on a high so you can start 2020 in a great way. I hate doing that, but I had to do it just to get some attention to play with the title. So just so you know, I'm, I'm not going to go that way necessarily, but I want to just give you some, home, some homework and some thoughts. At least that's what I hope to do. So if you haven't seen my broadcast before, just a couple of things. First of all, they're not scripted, first of all. Secondly, I tend to get downloads, like in the talk stuff will come through me and I'll speak about it and then I'll get some insights or a story I will just come back in my mind to speak about. Well, either way, the intention is to provide you with value. And yes, I tend to put, actually I do put every time now, some sort of call to action that may inspire you to take a next step either with me or with my work or in your own life. Now got that out of the way, let's dive into the talk. So I'm talking about Definition 29 with Real Love because it's been on my mind a lot recently because we're coming towards the end of the year period, not necessarily about 2019, but coming to the end of the year, which is when all the holidays happen. You know, surprise, surprise. You know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Hanukkah etc., etc. There are lots of different holidays coming up. And as much as it sounds celebratory and joyful and uplifting, for a lot of people it's also a very challenging time because it's a time to be around family that you may not get along with. It's about schlepping, stressing, and challenging experiences going through the airports and everything else. And it's all about the other stuff that goes on with that time too. Maybe you're having issues with your ex. Maybe you, maybe you got broke up this year. Oh, I'll say it another way. Maybe you had a divorce this year or you're broken up. I was gonna say you got broke up. You maybe you broke up this year and so you're spending the holidays alone for the first time. The holidays have a lot of like, wow, great stuff happening at one energy. And the other part is like, oh crap, the holidays are coming. And it's just duality that happens. And when I speak about ending 2019 with real love, what I'm speaking about, frankly, is how do you support yourself? And I'm going to offer some suggestions and an invitation or two, maybe three, <laughs> to give you some guidance. Because frankly, this next basically seven weeks, six weeks, can be very challenging for a lot of people. And yes, I've done some talks before because I did a new course, which I mentioned at the end as well, um, that can be very stressful this time of year because of all the challenges with interpersonal relationships, family dynamics, et cetera, et cetera. But the thing above all else is going through all of that chaos crowding, challenging opportunities or loneliness, depending on which way you're doing the holidays, is what is the relationship you have with yourself? Yes, I'm coming back to that teaching again, because it's vital that you get this if you don't already have it, which is a relationship with yourself that is above all else. Now, I'm not talking about ego here. I'm talking about loving yourself, who you are as a being, as a conscious, caring human being, not about I'm better than anybody else. That's not what I'm talking about here. What I'm speaking about though is how do you take care of yourself, respect yourself and love yourself, especially during this time of stress and travel and holidays and everything else. I was actually reading an article today about um, Google Maps is bringing out some new features because of the holiday season to give you better guidance about when not to travel, which isn't very encouraging, but it's kind of that sort of thing they're putting out there. So there's support systems out there to help you maybe navigate the holidays with more grace, well, less stress, <laughs> more grace is an opportunity. But the recognizing throughout the whole journey literally the physical journey and also the journey through um, the trails, the, tr the, the, the travails and the challenges of holidays, that you find a way to love yourself through all of it. Now, I have um, been talking about self-love for a long time, but it seems to be more apropos now 
because it's the most challenging time of year for a lot of people. It's like you go into it going, oh, it's giving me so much joy, so much light, all the Christmas lights, decorations, wrapping up from warmth, you're going back to the cold weather. I live in LA, it doesn't get that cold. <laughs> but you know, that feeling of going into the new experience with going, okay, I'm gonna be okay now because I'm gonna dive into, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The merriment of the holiday season, to, to explore, to celebrate, explore, explore, to celebrate, to be in that space. Yet yeah, that's a lot of times you come out of it exhausted, stressed, and frayed. Frayed as an F-R-A-Y-E-D, not afraid, frayed, like frayed edges. Because you've been through a lot of stuff. Now, if you've got kids, or you're going through family challenges with your own spouse, or you're going to see parents who maybe aren't seeing you through the right light, or one of a number of other things, you know what I'm talking about. You know, being with family is not always, it's not always, not as rosy as it always cracked up to be. Now, some people have amazing family relationships. They go and see family, it's lovely and warm, and the fireplace is going, and everyone's loving, everyone's great. Until like the second or third night, and then it becomes a little stressful when all this stuff comes up about the job you're not doing the right way, or they're not doing, you're not honoring your parents, or your relationship you're in is not working, the one you isn't, you aren't in isn't, isn't, the one you aren't in is the one they want to know about why you aren't in love. I'm giving you like 70 reasons to cram down, so I apologize for the cramming it in. But this, all, all this stressful stuff, and maybe I'm feeling the stress now as I'm saying it, is where the challenge is. Like, how do you get through that without running around it or avoiding it or shutting down and simply not going? So my invitation to you is to look at the holidays as an opportunity to take your relationship with yourself to a deeper level. As wonderful as the holidays, as wonderful as the holidays can be, it can also be challenging to remember to love yourself during those times. You can be overstretched where it's in the kitchen cooking. If people come and see you, or if you're going to see family and you're trying to contribute and you feel like a bit like on edge because everyone's got frayed edges, like roughness around them because the holidays are like stress, stress, stress because there's 17,000 people in one place where there normally is only two. Loving yourself is a key. To seriously take care of yourself at all times is key, but especially during the holidays. So I'm being adamant, adamant and um, pedantic about this because it's fundamental. Now, one thing to add to the top of that, going, fam for fam going home to family for Thanksgiving, especially for Christmas, can also be challenging because you may have different political views. And right now it's probably the most challenging time for families at home when you have opposite or opposing or different divergent political views. I mean, right now more than ever, whether it's whether in America or England or other countries, so many countries are going through political turmoils, it's challenging to be with our family when you have differing views. So again, can you come back to loving yourself? Can you be willing to listen and not defend your position? Can you be willing to listen without judging what they're saying? Can you be willing to listen and just be a space for them to release and vent, whether they judge you or not? That's a whole other teaching about not, not taking things personally. Um, and love yourself anyway. Because as simple as it sounds, the power of self-support and self-love is transcendent. It takes you beyond any challenge, emotionally speaking. Yeah, there's things you want to do in your life, you're going to take care of stuff and make things happen. But the truth comes back to the fact that when you love yourself, things get easier. When you love yourself, life gets easier. And when you love yourself, every relationship, not just primary, but family, uh, nephews, aunts, uncles, neighbors, everybody, will see you differently. Now, they may not know they're doing it, but you will notice it. Self-love, when it's applied in a healthy, holistic way, is one of the most potent forms of love there is. That's what I'm talking about with real love. When you, try, when you ha participate in real love, which starts from inside out, versus trying to get, get, get outside, and you know what it feels like when you're trying to get love from other people who don't want to give it. You know, the presents are not always the way you want them to, so you judge that as well. The ho let's just say the holidays, are lot, it, the holidays are filled with lots of trigger opportunities, triggering your emotional upset, triggering your feelings. So honestly, authentically, and truly loving yourself through the journey is probably one of the most profound um, shifts you can make to enjoy the holidays in a whole new way. Because it'd be wonderful if you go through the holidays where you come out of it in a much more joyful place than when you started. That isn't always the case for a lot of people. So... As I mentioned at the beginning, I'm going to put some links, some invitations in the comment in the comments afterwards. Links, because frankly, if you're not sure how to navigate the holidays in a way that is self-supportive and self-respecting, this will help you transformationally with that experience. So, just 
just thinking what I want, how I want to see it, frame this. Okay, that sidebar. I talked about when you said about how the people may judge you. If you're having if you're having divergent political views in the family dinner at Thanksgiving, here's the thing to remember. What other people think of you is none of your business. That's a quote from Helen Eleanor Roosevelt, by the way. It sounds simplistic to say that, but when you can get the truth of understanding that what they think about you is none of your business, then you are free to not be reactive. Part of the challenge with family dynamics at Thanksgiving is we get we don't get we we fall back into codependent relationships because very few of us if any were raised in families where there was no codependence it's like it's a trait of family dynamics whether it's with siblings with grandparents adults peers parents um, aunts and uncles whatever it is there's codependency woven into the fabric of families it's kind of normal unfortunately and that codependency is a um Fertile, pla fertile place to be out of alignment with yourself to be triggered by things they say triggered by m environment moments reminders history that shows up in the, in the, at the dinner table or wherever so coming back to loving yourself as I said again and again and again is the key is the key and the core to coming back to trusting yourself to respect yourself appreciate yourself and love yourself and that's a fundamental way to free yourself to enjoy the holidays without attachment Codependency is massive investment attachment and it keeps you stuck. When you go through life with detachment, you can float through it with a joy. Again, what they say doesn't matter to you because you don't take it personally. And in fact, you might, inf you know, well, I'm saying you might actually upset them more because they don't have a leverage point. I'm not saying you should go for that, but it's a side effect. They, they may escalate their desire to control you and you feel less and less controllable from them because it's just simply innate. When you love yourself fully, when you own your space, what happens for them doesn't matter to you. It's a powerful key to freedom. That's why I said it's the real love. You master this skill through the holidays, 2020 will be a cakewalk, absolute cakewalk. That's one reason I keep teaching this and preaching this and messaging this and sharing this because it works. Now, if you haven't had the success in this area, I do have some invitations for you. I'll put them in the comments. First of all, um, self-love as I mentioned is a fundamental skill I created a self-love guided meditation which is two audio tracks and a written workbook that are, that are available you to buy which you can use to practice off you can even use your phone with earbuds and just practice it every day even when you're at home with your family like flying home even on the plane you can practice this every day it will change your life period if you do it every day so that'll be in the comments I'll also put in the comments um, because this is this time of year I've got a new group course that I've just started. I'm starting it officially starts tomorrow, but I make this one a week if more people are showing up. Called Thriving Through the Holidays. Thriving Through the Holidays is a two month immersion in support, um, collaboration, and resource to get you through the holidays. And if you sign up for it, I'll include the self love guided meditation as well. So that's a bonus. <laughs> yeah, I'm offering bonus. It's holidays. Why not throw extra stuff out there? If you really want to get some direct support with me, I'll put a link in the comments. You can reach out and chat to me directly because frankly, this might be so challenging because maybe this is the first time in Thanksgiving you're going home with a new partner. Maybe it's the first time you're going home for Thanksgiving where you don't have a partner where you normally did. If you're stuck in this area, not sure what to do, I'll leave a link in the comments. You can reach out to me and talk and we can have a conversation that can maybe give you some steps and keys and some homework that you can take with you when you go home for Thanksgiving. The holidays can be a wonderful time the whole is going to be a challenging time. It's really up to you. If you really focus on the self-support, self-love, and self-appreciation, you'll find yourself in a place where you can have what you really want, which is a loving experience with everybody around you, including your family. And for some people, that's like, whoa, that'd be a miracle. <laughs> maybe easier said than maybe easier done than said. In fact, if you do the work. So again, links will be in the comments you can check out at the end. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate that. And hi, thanks for being in my broadcast, by the way. So recognizing that you can really have an amazing time without avoiding everything <laughs> is kind of a new choice for some people, I know. Um, but you've got to be willing to do the work. So again, links will be in the comments. You can check out after I sign off because I haven't put them out yet. I'm don't, I don't know what put them in the comments until I finish the broadcast because I have to look back at what I said and go, oh yeah, that was in the comments. That'll be in the comments for you. Um, this is my daily Facebook Live, by the way. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here at 5 p.m. Yeah right here on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Silber. You can join me anytime live. You can watch my replays. I have them on my uh, business page on Facebook and also YouTube. I'll tell you why. So Facebook, 
Business page is barryselby.author. I put them there because it's easy to find because you're on, on Facebook, but, and, however, Facebook has, an, has not really, doesn't seem to show everything all the time. So it doesn't show my list, doesn't show every broadcast there. But you like my page and follow me there, please. I appreciate that. But also if you want to go to my YouTube channel, that does carry all my Facebook lives. I save them there intentionally for one for backup and two because they're all shown. If you go to, if you go to uh, youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby, you'll find my channel. Please subscribe. There's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine and all my, t all my broadcasts are there from newest to oldest. You can scan through and just pick and choose which one you want to watch. If you do scroll all the way through, you can actually search in the search field for keywords. Maybe you'll look for, um, well, if you're for love, you'll see tons of them. Maybe you'll look for um, abuse. Maybe you'll, sorry, that was an interesting one that came out first. <laughs> Maybe you'll just feel like you want to look for um, codependency or self-support or some other topic. I've covered a lot. 895 broadcasts, 896, including this one. There's some content out there for you. So I invite you to check that, let that out to watch the playlist. Again, subscribe to my channel, please. I'd love to have a bit more followers. I'm only in like two or 300 right now, so plenty of room for more. Um, and again, the links will be in the comments for you to check out. My self-love practice and uh, thriving through the holidays are both in the comments, as well as a chance to reach out to me. Take this to heart. You can have an amazing time if you're willing to love yourself first. The real love at the end of the year is self-love in case you didn't figure that out from before. Um, I thank you for watching. I appreciate being with me. I hope this made some sense to you. And I, I do wish you the best of the holidays. I'll be talking every day, so I'll be talking to you now on the holidays and through the holidays. I've got to go up to a thousand. So I thank you for watching as always. I appreciate you being with me and check out the links. They will help you. And as always, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon. Bye.